I'm Aslan with IMTS TV, and this is Jurgen from Universal Robots. Yeah, so we've launched uh, the new E-Series product. For us, it's a, actually a platform. So for us, it's really about taking our new markets and opening up even further. So with the E-Series, we actually have a, a product that actually has now a force torque sensor built in. So it basically gives you that sense of touch in, in the actual cobot at the end of the arm. Um, we speeded it up so that the processors are faster. We have end of arm basically electrical power tooling so we can actually add more end effectors. All of that is basically trying to create easy use for our customers. So what's the problem that it's solving? Is it just more ease of usability? Well, you know, first of all, the applications out there are still very complex. Everyone looks at automation and robotics as still a very complex part. Universal Robots was kind of conceived on the, on the idea that we want to bring ease of use and disrupt this complexity that's in there for robotics and automation. So for us, everything we do is trying to take, put a structure to the unstructured, to bring that ease of use that actually just makes robotics a tool. So our cobot, the way we see it, is a tool like any other one out there that would empower the production workforce again and give them the power to implement with the tool. Excellent. So that leads to my next question. How is this going to help evolve smart manufacturing? Well, the way we see it is that today, smart manufacturing, automation, and robotics has been kind of kept for the large companies, for the few out there. So our idea is really to take automation robotics as a base to all companies, trying to level the playing field for everybody. So that's the first step. The second part is that the way we see it is we want to create an open ecosystem, which we call Universal Robots Plus. And it's a platform of about 300, 400 developers that we have that are basically using the cobot as a platform to make solutions for our customers. So all that innovation that's taking place around the world, we can leverage that with basically this open model ecosystem that we have. So for us, you know, there's a lot of noise about you know, IIoT, we talk about Industry 4.0. The way we see it is it's incremental automation in robotics is the way to go. It's step by step, and a cobot is a great example of that first step. Excellent, so this is almost democratizing the industry and giving more access to more people, hopefully. I exactly, right? So one of the things that people fear, of course, is the unknown. So for us, the ability here, what we're giving to a customer is just to basically automate a cell or a certain function only. The ROI that we have with the cobot is very, very short. So there's not that huge risk, that big leap that you have to take. And that democratization is also about a cultural change that people don't always think about when they start automating their production. So here we start very small. We can actually enable that change to happen by itself because once the other workers see, wow, that cell is working better, that, that operator actually has more time to be creative, suddenly it kind of takes its own initiative. Excellent. That was Jurgen with Universal Robots, and I'm Aslan with IMTS TV.